I enjoy not doing YouTube. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, b is contradicting himself because he's making a YouTube video right now. Well, that's that's not what I mean. I still enjoy doing this, and I plan on doing it for, well, the foreseeable future. But sometimes it's nice to slow down and just smell the roses and not focus on YouTube videos. I'm sure you guys noticed that I didn't upload a video last weekend, and part of that is to do with Nether Games' replay mod being broken. If I'm being honest, a lot of my videos that I planned, like, revolved around using Nether Games Replay, because I honestly had a lot of fun with it. Let's roll back the tapes. And hey, if you like that, why not check out the full video if you haven't? But I think it'd be fun to incorporate it into a bunch of other videos. So I sort of just started planning out other videos that involve that. And then, yeah, the, the replay viewer broke. This kind of felt like a Sammy Green moment, not gonna lie. Like, you know, he says something and then like it immediately breaks. And that's exactly what happened to replay mod. So maybe I shouldn't mention it in this video anymore. But yeah, that's reason one why I didn't upload last week. And reason two is I just didn't feel like it. I try my best to upload weekly, but you know, just sometimes it doesn't always happen. And I think that that's fine. Now, like a year ago, me would say, no, you gotta push through it and make a video, but that's just, that's just not a healthy way to look at YouTube. I think I've gotten better at looking at YouTube as less of a job and more of a hobby. Like I know there are people that look at YouTube and thinking about maybe a future career. Like I think Smurf talked a little bit about this. You know, I want to spend more time making quality videos for you guys. So when I'm on PC, I'm going to be trying to be as productive as possible towards my YouTube channel. As I've said many times, I want it to be my job when I'm older. Now this is no shade at Smurf or anything, but he mentioned like wanting to do YouTube as like a career career in the future. And to me, that's always just been unrealistic. So I've never viewed YouTube as like a possible career. I've always viewed YouTube more as a hobby, something that I can look back on in a few years and be proud of. Why are we building up so high? What, what, what was the point of that? But yeah, I just, I don't want to view YouTube as a career. I want to view it as something I can look back on and just say like, yeah, I did that. Because honestly, I'm really proud of where this channel has gotten. Like when I first started making this channel, I had no ambition for like making it to thousand subscribers. Even a hundred seemed like unfathomable. But now we're here over two years later. It's just... It's just crazy. But I've really gotten off topic. What I really wanted to talk about in this video is just hobby. Because YouTube is a hobby of mine, but I have other hobbies, or at least I had, and I'm trying to get back into them. See, because YouTube is so time intensive, I kind of did lose track of a bunch of my old hobbies, which I enjoyed a lot. And one of the main ones that is really making a comeback in my life right now is model making. I like to build vehicle models. I don't know why vehicles in particular, but that's just, that's just what I do. And I got into model making like a year before I did YouTube, so that's like over three years now. But I'd say for like the last two, I've definitely fallen out of it. I haven't had the time and like I haven't wanted to put the time towards it because it is a pretty time consuming hobby, but it's also a very rewarding hobby. Because like after you dump hours and hours of work into model, you finally see it come together and it's a nice display piece. And honestly, it's a lot more affordable than a lot of my other hobbies. I could easily spend hundreds of dollars on a keyboard or like I've already spent over a thousand dollars on a computer. But model, you know, they're like 50 bucks at the most. But going back to the whole satisfying thing when you're building it, you know what's not satisfying? Seeing a model sit there because you haven't finished in two years and you just wake up to it every single day and it's it's like the end of Mortal Kombat was like, finish him, except it's a lot more sad and depressing because it's just sat there for two years and you haven't you haven't finished it and so that's what i did last weekend instead of actually making a youtube video i just finished the model and i'm glad i did i also didn't know where i stood with my skills like am i still somewhat decent at it and it turns out i sort of am maybe i don't know i was able to finish it how about that but what i didn't expect to happen is i actually like get really back into it i have so many plans to make so many models which it's it's a good thing to have ambition but it's also you know, a bad thing because you know they take a while and i want to make a lot of them like like one that I'm really excited to work on, if anyone's familiar with the TV show Mythbusters, they strapped a rocket to the top of a car and I just, I want to remake that in a model form because I think it'd be so cool. One, because I love the show, and two, a rocket strapped to the top of a car, what does not sound epic about that? I mean, it sounds a little dangerous and, you know, they did kind of blow it up one time, but other, other than that, it went perfectly fine. I finally flew. And I actually have the pieces to do that. I just need to, you know, sit down and actually do it. You know, one thing at a time. I, I can't be starting a bunch all at the same time. Except I really want to because I have so many ideas. One thing I want to do is just like recreate video game vehicles. Like, I play this game BMG Drive a lot and there's a bunch of different vehicles in it. And they're all like custom made by the devs. Like they're not exact copies of real life cars. So there aren't models out there to make. But if I combine my hobby of model making with my 3D printer that I have, I could make some pretty cool stuff. But there aren't just video game and like TV show vehicles that I want to make. There are also like 
just regular things I want to make. Okay, I use the term regular pretty loosely because, you know, there's some things like the Batmobile that I want to make and like the Back to the Future DeLorean. But there are actually some normal things that I want to make. Like, I want to make this car hauler trailer for like a semi because I could use that to display a bunch of my other models. And it's also a good excuse to make another semi model. So, I mean, killing two birds with one stone there, really. But yeah, I just have so many ideas, but I just, I want to make sure I don't get ahead of myself too because if I start a bunch all at the same time, I know I won't finish all of them and I, I really do want to like sink time into them and actually finish them because i think they'll be so cool i'm just like really it was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up I'm glad i'm getting back into this i didn't realize i was going to fireball jump right there okay okay i'm alive i'm alive how did that okay just don't don't ask questions but I'm, I'm honestly really happy that i'm getting back into this and i think hobbies are really important just something to do i think it's very good to have it's nice to do something different every now and then because sure i i love playing video games i play a lot of video games but i can't do it 24 7 like some people can that's just that's just not me although i am talking about building a bunch of video game models in real life so actually that might be more me than I, i'm willing to let on but even youtube it's a hobby for me and like like, it's fun discovering new things and it's always important to push my creativity like for this video here I wanted to use replay mod to just like get some external shots to make it cool But there are other ways I can do that by like doing weird filter effects I can make this like a look like an old TV show or I can make this like a weird noir type silent film It's just that's just kind of sad. And this is what I mean when I'm talking about like pushing creativity. Like that silent film idea is actually a really good idea. You know, one of the most annoying things about doing YouTube is, you know, you have a great recording and then something goes wrong. Like your mic was muted or just like you forgot to press record, something simple like that. Well, that just happened to me right before making this video because this is actually my second attempt at making it. I just have like a 20 minute video file with no audio, which isn't the best because it was actually really good commentary. But now thinking back on it, I can actually turn that into like a really interesting like silent film video. I've wanted to do one of those for a while now. I did one like a while back, but I want to like redo it. That video failing, while well, I think it's a better commentary than this will ever be, I think it'll still turn into a great silent film if I can, you know, actually figure out how to make it because I, 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 I still have to figure out how to do that. But at least the audio is gone already, so I mean, should make it pretty easy. 